Iran has executed a dual British citizen, the latest in a string of executions carried out by a regime. Grappling with a nationwide uprising. State TV reported Saturday Ali Reza Akbari, a former high ranking defense official in Tehran, was executed on charges of spying for the UK. Reports say the accusations were based on false confessions after extensive torture. This was a callous and cowardly act carried out by a barbaric regime with no respect for the human rights of their own people, tweeted UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. In response to uh, this execution, we have uh, summoned the Iranian charge d'affaires. We have imposed uh, sanctions against the Prosecutor General and we have also decided to temporarily withdraw our ambassador. His execution would be unconscionable. On Friday, the U.S. State Department warned Iran not to carry out the death sentence, calling it politically motivated. Iran's practices of arbitrary and unjust detentions, forced confessions, and politically motivated executions are completely unacceptable and must end. Iran has deployed violence against anti-government protesters, demanding an end to the country's theocratic rule. Four demonstrators have been executed so far with dozens more potentially facing the same grim fate, according to the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights. But it's unclear when the last time a former or current senior official had been executed, and Akbari's hanging sends a clear message that anyone, including those who serve the Islamic Republic, can pay the ultimate price. Our response will not necessarily be limited to the measures that we have announced today. We take this incredibly seriously. Canada's Foreign Affairs Minister also condemned the execution and said the regime's consistent use of violence against those who disagree with them must come to an end. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.